Power 92. We are number one in the streets. Power 92, number one in the streets. It's your boy, Hi Rob, man. In studio right now, man. Got the homie, Saba. What's going on, What's man? What's going on, man? Finally got <laughs> your ass out here. Thank you. Thank you, man. Coming from the west side. Yeah, Came man. Over Little Hammond, Indiana, yeah, man. Yeah, man, it's a long way from the west side, man. Man, hey, nah, I definitely appreciate it, man. Like I said, I've been rocking with you for a minute. Where, you man? know, like I was just telling you off camera, like, where are my... Like, I, I, every, time I, every time I sing the song, I gotta do this. Like, that's one of my favorite that's songs, up, man. man. But for everybody in the city, man, I, and I don't even like to say the city, but everybody in the world that don't know who Saba is, man, tell them who Saba is. Yeah, man, uh, loaded question. Loaded question, but you know, I'm a I'm an artist from the west side of Chicago. Uh you know, I'm I'm doing my I'm doing my thing, V. I'm doing <laughs> You doing a uh, lot. Doing, hey. Yeah, man, it's coming along, man. You know, it's coming along. We've been, you know, blessed and, you know, uh had a you know, a, a a rough year, but it's been it's been turning out to be one of the most beautiful years of my life, you know, so you know, everything been moving, man. It's just a blessing, you know? Yeah, I, I just saw, you know, you came with you out there in Europe. You to- yeah, yeah, yeah. We just did the European tour. Uh, that, tell me, I ain't never been outside of... Crazy. Cottage Grove. Crazy. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no go, Get real, no, move, get yeah. real movie theater in here. You no, know, I ain't never... I'm, I'm trying to... I, I ain't see never how, left the hood. I ain't never left the hood. That's what I'm trying to see. How, <laughs> I want to see how the Eiffel Tower look. Nah. But no, nah, it, was, it was definitely uh, quite the experience. You know, having like people who, you know, it's people there who don't speak English, you know, singing the yeah. word, like mainly to the joint, the, the well in my yeah. hands joint. Like that was the, the joint out there, like that I noticed, like every show was like going up and stuff. But it's like, you know, a lot of people, like we would be in Germany or like Poland and stuff where like English, not their like main language. And, uh, you know, having them sing along to the words, it's just a different feeling, you know, and it's like, you know, a humbling experience, you know? That's crazy. Like, you got people right, like, you you know, West Side Chicago, you going all the way across the world, and they rocking with you. Uh, The the project uh, Bucket List. Yeah. Man, like, explain that project. Bucket List. What's that? How does that, what, what does Bucket List mean to you, like? Bucket List, man, Bucket List is one of them projects, man. It, it definitely changed my life. Uh, and it's just, you know, it's it's a blessing, man. Like, and it's still it's still growing. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, we dropped it independently, like, a, over a year ago now. Yeah. And it's, st- you know, we still able to tour off of it, and we still playing all of these shows. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just a real blessing. For me, Bucket List was, the, like, really just trying to, uh, you know, inspire people to just go for it. You know, whatever that it is for them, yeah. but really just you know, saying why not and just you know doing it. So for me, it was dropping the project. You know, so for a lot of people, it's like you know, it's similar things. Like I feel like we all want similar things, and mm-hmm. Bucket List is really just my way of trying to convey that. You know, and like the art, the art cover of it. Like I'm hearing you explain. You know, uh-huh. Bucket List. What, what what's the meaning behind the art cover? Bucket List. We shot that uh in a place called the Valley of Fire. And uh, it's about 40 minutes out from Vegas. It's just in the middle of nowhere. Like, you can't hear nothing. You can't, like, it ain't nothing there. Like, it's just, it's it's, it's kind of close to the Valley of Death, which is another place in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These places, in, they just in the middle of nowhere. But I just wanted to, you know, go somewhere, like, super epic and just, like, really just be able to, like, you know, have that, like, moment, like, you know, with a project like The Bucket List, like, yeah. I wanted to look like The Bucket List, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was the, the you know, like, let me go into the middle of nowhere, like, you yeah. know, what, show people what's on my bucket list, you know what I'm saying? Like, What was your you know mindset, though? though, like, sitting in that valley, like, like that, you know, you about to drop your album, I mean, your, uh, your project. It was list. actually crazy. I feel like that's why I was really processing it, because, like, it was so quiet that the, like, I ain't never been nowhere that I can describe like this. It was so quiet that the silence there was loud. Like, damn. Yeah, like I don't even like you got to go there to really like like the silence was loud. Like I, I went with uh, two two of my homies who like uh, photographed the cover, uh-huh. but it was just crazy. Like he miles and miles away. If he yelled, like I I'm hearing him. Like he right here. Like it was it was crazy. It was crazy. It was like us and maybe like two other people, like in the whole in the whole valley, <laughs> <laughs> just out there, just in the middle Chicago, of nowhere, bro. Chicago niggas just out there, just in the valley. <laughs> no man, hey, that's I damn it, like really want to like see the valley. Like I mean, we'll see you know what you experience in there. Yeah, no, like, you gotta you gotta see it. You gotta hear it. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, that's, hey, that's kind of crazy. I definitely want to 
I got to check that out. Yeah. Um, you, you're not no stranger to Chicago. Not so, at all. Um, you've been on projects with Chance. Factually. Um, you've been on a lot of other projects. Um, so you work with Twister. Uh, so yeah, like yeah, yeah. What's like really like the Angels track? Uh huh. How'd that come about? Um, Chance, I, I met Chance at open mics like back in the day. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, so the, probably, like, the way he doing now, that type, the open mic type yeah, stuff. Yeah, he yeah. Doing now. Uh, uh, we met at <laughs> Hair Washington Library. I was probably like 16, 17 years old. Uh, and he just been one of them dudes, man, who just like genuinely believes in what I'm doing and like you know wants to support it in you know every way. Uh, so yeah, he was you know pretty much all his projects in some way has reached out to me to be a part of, you know, since, like, as he rap. So it's been, like, you know, real cool just, you know, being embraced by somebody like a Chance the Rapper. But even, like, you know, Twista and, like, all these other people in the city, you know, it's it's just super dope to, like, really be a part of, you know, the city of Chicago, especially, like, in, in music right now because, like, Chicago music right now is killing it, man. Like, nah, definitely. For real. <laughs> yeah. like, and I, I had to give y'all, like, super, super props, man. Um, when y'all was on TV... And y'all had the hoodies. I mean, you had the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had the other hoodie on. Hey, look, just know. Just know. <laughs> it was only two options. It was only two options. I didn't get to pick. But, <laughs> I know, but real talk, like, y'all really, y'all changed quite a skip. Y'all changed the culture of, like, radio supporting Chicago artists. Mm -hmm. Because when y'all, when that song dropped, <laughs> like. You had to play. You had to play. <laughs> you had to play. And you, but y'all show love to the city as well. Yeah. And, you know, it ain't. I ain't going to say, you know, it ain't no beef between either states because we all, you know, trying to grow and help yeah. Chicago artists out. I'm real big on helping Chicago artists out, but y'all really changed the culture, so. That's dope. That's and, dope, especially coming from, you know what I'm saying, somebody at the station yeah. and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I never had that conversation <laughs> with somebody who actually at the, you know, at the spot, so nah, that's pretty cool. That was, I was kind of heated at you, but I was just like, nah, it's still. And, nah, you know, I, I didn't get the <laughs> option, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> nah, that's super dope. Um. You also your song, man. I, you know, I just got this info. It's super dope. Adult Swim, Adult 360 Swim. was on. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. 360 was on Adult Swim. Yeah, and and your song uh, was opened up for the Apple Store. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, what's man. that feeling like? It's pretty pretty damn cool, man. A lot it's of people listen. To, I mean, watch Adult Swim. Uh, yeah, I I have yet to. I just moved into a new spot. We ain't got cable yet. We got internet, you know what I'm saying? I be watching Netflix. I ain't got I'll no cable, watching. you know what I'm saying? So I ain't catch it on the Dope Swim yet. Okay. But, you know, people been tweeting me like, Sap was on the Dope Swim, this is crazy. <laughs> you know, and, you know, being, like, young and watching hella Dope Swim, like, it's just a crazy thing. Like, and I always remember, like, Dope Swim always had the, like, hottest music and, like, the, they little commercials. Like, that's what I learned about, like, Jay Dilla, Jay Dilla Flying Lotus, like, yeah. a bunch of stuff. So it's just cool, you know what I'm saying, to, like, be a part of that so, roster, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And then the Apple thing is just kind of speak for itself. Like they give you that's still for free. That, nah. Oh, Apple, <laughs> nah. what's up? What's nah, up? nah, nah. We got to pull up on uh, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Shout out to Apple. Shout out to nah. Apple. But yeah, it was you know it was real cool, and they had you know they had the lyrics on the on the building uh, at the at the new Apple store for quite some time. So it was you know that was just super dope, man. Like you know. Yeah, they they had the lyrics like blown up like on the building. Like I don't know, it's it's just really crazy, you know. Oh, they gotta get you gotta go back down and get your phone, that iPhone. X. <laughs> 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 and, you know, um back to your social media and everything, I see you've been um your your uh, lifestyle now, uh vegan. Well, you know, not eating Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was all right, look, I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, I was doing the vegetarian thing <laughs> until I got to Europe. But it was like I prior to Europe a couple weeks ago, I hadn't had meat since like around my birthday, which is in July. Uh, but it's easier than a lot of people think it is. But yeah, it's it's cool, man. I was like cooking a lot more and like you know learning a lot more about just I foods was in general. You know? you was, you was I'm definitely... gonna get back on it. It's been a minute. Like you was motivated. Boy, I, I was... got I got home from tour. My girlfriend slid on me with some Uncle Remus. Um. Come on, we. Oh, you trying we, to live this lifestyle? Come on, we. No, we out here now. Once I was in, <laughs> so, so. once I was in London, I ate chicken and I was, I felt fine. You know what I'm saying? People like, you know, you might, fit, your body might yeah. have to get used to it again. But I don't think I was vegetarian long enough for it to really affect my body that way. Yeah. Uh, 
But yeah, it was cool. I definitely felt the difference. Like over time, it took a, it took a minute to feel the difference. But you know. I, I tried that. Like I like I said, I was watching your your page, and I was like, okay, let me <laughs> let me try this too. And my girl was trying it too as well because you know we saw the documentary. Uh huh. I was like, okay, I see y'all seen the same one I saw. Yeah, probably. See, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it messed my head up. I was like, oh hell no! Nah. Like and then y'all spraying boo boo everywhere. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. messed my head up. But like I said, I saw yours, and I was like, man, okay, I'm gonna try this. And man, I literally lasted probably like. The first time I did it last like a week, and uh-huh. then after that, I had a guy roll. Hey, you got to take just, your victories, man. Yeah. Like, that week is like it's that's a, a hard, whole week. It's hard. That's a whole week. I was <laughs> vegan for three days. I didn't last like four days. I was vegan for three days and was like, maybe I'll just be vegetarian because you know when you're vegetarian, yeah. you eat cheese and butter and stuff like that. But yeah, it's it's definitely like shout out to all the vegans, man. Shout out they. Living that life, yeah, they out definitely. Here. Oh my god, that's a that's a struggle. Out here too. reading all the ingredients on I'm everything not. they I'm, buy. I'm smashing over Weiss. Hold on, we gonna come right back to this interview. Hold on, I gotta do this. So, <laughs> what's next for Saba, man? What's what's what, next? What you working on? Uh, right now, the main priority been uh, we got this House of Blues concert on Saturday. Okay. Uh, John Wall Day. Uh, just been trying to do everything. We sold out the floor, so now we got to get these balconies sold out. Uh, but you know, House of, House of Blues is a big venue, man. That's so it's been, you know, legendary. it's been cool. Yeah, and uh, you know, being from Chicago, House of Blues is definitely one of them legendary venues. So it's uh, it's cool, you know, man. Like I'm, I don't know. I'm really just excited about it. And then other than that, man, we just back to the studio. Finally off a of tour. I've pretty much been on tour like all year. I got two more shows for the year. Okay. And then it's just studio every day. You uh next project you got already in the works? Next or? project, yeah, yeah. I started. I'm three songs in. Uh but but like three songs though. Not like three songs, but like three. Yeah. Like the three. <laughs> oh, we need that. We need that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, nah, we need that for real. We need to have a listening session. To, are you hey, going? When I got more than three, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> right, please, hey, I'm I'm good with three, man. Like I said, I'm a fan. You know, just want to hear what you got going on and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yo, 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 pivot game. Mm-hmm. Are, are y'all working on a collab joint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, you know, now that everybody dropped one of their own. Uh-huh. Uh, projects, it's, it's, you know, it's that time to come back together. The last Pivot Game project we dropped was like 2013. It was a long time ago. Wow. So, uh, you know, it's it's that time. Regroup, you know what I'm saying? Now that everybody, you know, back, yeah, ready to work, you know what I'm saying? So 2018, that'll definitely be a thing that happens at some point, you know? So, and what, so my, my other question, like, because you, you are totally talented, different, than most, you know, Chicago artists, and and your lane is super different. Mm-hmm. Um, what made you go that route besides the whole drill route? Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, you just gotta be yourself. Yeah, you gotta be yourself. I can get it. You know, I could. I think it's that's that's one of the things. Like as an artist, you know, you present it with that like two two different lanes, and you can pick one and do what everybody wants you to do. Uh-huh. Or you could just be yourself, you know what I'm saying? And eventually it'll work out to where once you put out your real your real self, your real image, your real words, you know what I'm saying, people will start to embrace that. And, you know, it might take longer, but, you know, in the end it's always worth so much more because it's like you really, you believe in the words. You're not just doing something for, you know, you're not just doing something for the clout. You're not just doing something for people to play it, for, for followers or something like that. You really, you know. Preach. Getting yourself out there and, you know, the the fan interaction, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because people relate to the music so much more because it's like you're really giving them yourself. So I'm thinking for me, you know what I'm saying? Like growing up, I always liked the artist that was like that, that I felt was like that. So it's like I really didn't, I didn't think about it another way. You know? What's some of the artists? Uh, I liked, all right, Lupe was like my, my guy, you know, yeah. growing up. Uh, I listened to... A lot of Lupe, obviously. A lot of Andre 3000. Listen to Kendrick. I'm going to uh, stop you right there. Kanye, I'm, you know, I'm, we going to finish we, your list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How <laughs> do you feel about this man not putting out no more music? Or putting out another album? I think he definitely... Uh, 
Somebody you looked up to. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, you know, he, he has a point. Like, I don't know if you read the latest article. Yeah. But he say a lot of interesting things. But, you know, I I would love to hear an album from him, you know. And I think a lot of people, I think most people in the world at this point would. One of uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, you know, that's a... Dude is an artist in every every sense of the word, and he going to do what he want to do, and he always has, I feel yeah. like. So it's like, you know, I, I'm okay with the, you know, the one, two features a year we getting, you know, because it's like, that's more than an album for a lot sure. of people, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what are you doing with it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, you know, you, you, you take what you can get, but, you know, you got to appreciate it all, you know. So I'm just, you know, listening, studying up, trying to, you know, up the ante, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, man, I, I, I want to see another album from, uh, yeah, you know, man. at least an Outkast album or something. Yeah, I do, do want to see that. Uh, I know yeah. Big Boy just dropped his project. I didn't get a chance to listen to it all the way, but I really want to see Andre. But that's dope to hear that that's an, uh, one of your artists that you look up to. You said Kendrick. Who, who was the other one? Kendrick. That's damn near how far I got. That, <laughs> uh, Lupe, Kendrick, Andre, uh... That's, that's that's a solid a, list right there. Nah, it is. It's damn near it. Like, what artists you look forward to working with in the future? Uh, Pharrell. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get on Go and home. finesse. I'm trying to get on and finesse the Pharrell. <laughs> the Pharrell feature. Man, Once I, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear that though. Yeah, you know, it's, that's another one of the artists that you feel me. I I feel like I was inspired by. So it's like. You know, you like to do things to to pay homage in certain ways without biting. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's one of those things where it's like what Pharrell did. I think for art is like one of those things that's gonna be like years and years and years and years yeah. uh, appreciated. And you know, like that's the kind of career where I would you know like to put myself in that. You mm -hmm. know, you can rap, you you singing, you making the beats. You know, you working with all of these other artists. You know what I'm saying? Like that's one of the things that I'm kind of, you know, trying to get into myself, you know? That's, hey, that's super. I could hear you on a Pharrell track. Or both of <laughs> y'all together, like, man, speak that into existence for real. Yeah, like, soon enough. Soon enough. I ain't tripping. Yeah, we going we to we <laughs> start a petition. We going we to tweet that out. We got to make that happen. So um, what's some artists in Chicago that you listen to that's from Chicago? Uh, All of them. All of them. I listen to, we was listening to G Herbo on the way here. Uh, obviously, like Chance, I love. Yeah. I like uh, Mick Jenkins, No Name, Superboy, uh, all of my homies in Pivot Gang, of yeah. course. <laughs> uh, who else? Smino, do Smino count? Cause Smino from I, St. Louis, I but I mean, he count. Always, yeah, 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 he here, yeah. so he count. Uh, who? Else? Yeah, John Doe. Uh, legit. It's it's hella. I could go on and on Not and on. And on, you support the crib, and, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, that's dope as to much hear as other Chicago yeah, artists yeah. supporting the, you know, other artists in Chicago. You got so. to. We all, I rock with that. Know. I rock with that super heavy. For Who real. else gonna do it if we ain't doing it? You know, I'm trying to <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, hey, we feel the effort and we appreciate it. Like you know, I'm definitely trying, man. Then shout out to my homie, uh, Cody over here. What's the word? TV. So he definitely put on for Chicago artists as well. Mm -hmm. So man, I thank you so much for even driving out here and sitting with me. <laughs> on, my, on my last show, I mean, this, this is off, but, like, on my last show, I definitely appreciate that for real. Like, Absolutely, um, man. Man, definitely appreciate it, like, for real. Thank man, you. No so, problem, man, man, shout out to Saba, man. You know what it is, man. It's your boy, High Ride, right here on Power 92. Power 92. 92.3 FM.